All right, with the introduction of the new Impact M3 and the accessory harmonic tuner for the barrel shroud, I decided to revisit uh, my test I did uh, last summer where I had a very simple collar that went on um, my shroud and I did some harmonic testing. Um, and the uh, results were you know they improve some but not great so I decided to um, go a little bit further and 3d print a new shroud and hoping this shows up because I'm in the shade but uh, basically I have a inner collar that sits on the shroud to protect it from the outer collar. Got three set screws going around. Um, printed that on the 3D printer to write dimensions. Then to save some um, uh, filament and to add a little bit of weight, I took a piece of PVC pipe and made another liner to fit inside it so it would fit over this collar and added three set screws. But um, I have my uh, calipers to uh, do the adjusting. Let's go around and I'll show you what I did as far as the adjusting went. I had a uh, baseline starting point which is up tight against this collar so I measured with the calipers from here to where it touched the outer sleeve and it was 8.81 uh, millimeters. Let's go down to my chart. And as Up North Air Gunner mentioned in his video, it doesn't take much uh, movement to make an effect. So I started out at the baseline, added 2.5 millimeters, and it gave me total distance there. I kept on bumping it up, and at this point, at 18.31 millimeters, um, my group really tightened up to a clover leaf at uh, 50 yards. So let's go look at that now. All right, here's my target. This was at the baseline setting, and I added 2.5 millimeter size, I remember. Shot another group. You can see it's starting to tighten up a little bit. Shot another group, and then added my final 2.5 uh, millimeters. And this is shooting the varmint knocker 50 grainers. So uh, that's an excellent result. And uh, the main thing for me is going to be making sure that my um, shroud collar stays in place with the uh, present uh, set screws I got. But excellent result. We'll see how it goes and works out in the field. I almost forgot to add, um, the weight of my collar weighs about 4.6 inches and you can see from where I didn't have the collar on, where my zero is up there, it dropped at about an inch and a half or so, an inch. So it's not making a big difference in the weight on the shroud. That was sort of like what I had to figure out because before when I had my uh, collar I put it directly on the moderator and it weighed about the same amount of weight but well actually maybe a little bit less so I add a little bit more weight to the um, dampener so for about 4.6 ounces and only dropped it that far so that's not much uh, impact on the uh, point of aim keep thinking of doing other things I decided to go ahead and write down the various measurements and showing the increments that I went. That was the final adjustment and then I went ahead and clicked up for my zero. So you can see these two shots that connected and this could be me or just a little bit of wind but it definitely is showing it's got accuracy going on. Okay I got my new 
FX Maverick VP edition and 25 caliber. Uh, I just got the power kit installed uh, yesterday and I'm spending this afternoon running different slugs through it and trying to find the best combination and the performance and all that but what I'm doing this little video about is in the past I had done for my side shot a holder to help it keep better aligned and basically I have a cup in the back and I've spaced it off the eyepiece the correct amount for the eye relief and rather than having to spend 70 bucks a piece or whatever they are I made my own uh, 3D so both are 3D printed and here's my side shot and I got rid of the um, rubber cup because I found it annoying to use and I got a piece of PVC I adapted but basically this helps keep everything into alignment you slide it up here turn the camera on and you just adjust it to the crosshairs a level tighten up on that and you're ready to go it makes it very quick and easy to uh, get everything aligned so that's the uh, project I did there of course every time you put it on you have to sort of do that alignment thing but you can see it just took a couple seconds to do that so that's just an update on something I did in the past